Hi everyone! Today I want to show you how to use advanced filter to perform complex criteria search on a large data set. You probably will ask, why do we need to know how to use advanced filter? What are the benefits of using advanced filter? So, uh, the benefits will be that you can apply multiple criteria independently of each other, like or condition, not only and. So instead of going step by step, applying the conditions from, for example, here, the text filter, custom filters, and then uh, number filters on the next column that you're interested to filter, you will have them listed uh, in a table in the spreadsheet. Uh, in a grid that you can easily update if you want to update the criteria. Another benefit is that you can save your filtered data uh, in a different uh, result tab, for example, spreadsheet, without copying and pasting each time when you do a new criteria. Let's see how in practice this can be done. So the first thing we will need to add some uh, lines at the top of our data. So we will insert a few lines and we will copy uh, the headers. It's very important that the headers are the same. Uh, you might not use all of them. You, you can just show a certain uh, area of the criteria, but you still need the headers to be matching with your headers in the table. Also, let me explain our data set here. It's all countries in the world with the country name, population, yearly change in percentage of the population and the net change of population, density uh, for the land area, so people on every kilometer, a square kilometer land area in square kilometers, uh, migrants, um, number of people coming to the country or living for the year, fertility rate, uh, median age, urban population, and what is the world share of this country. So it's very interesting um, set of data, 241 lines or less, I would say, because we moved it. So let's see what we can uh, do with our filters. First thing, we will uh, set the criteria. Let's say we want to see all countries that are uh, having population about 100 million. So how many zeros? Copy one more. And then let's say where the median age is less than 40 years and what else? We can we can add where the, the share is no urban population is less than fifty percent. Let's see if we will get something. So how we do the advanced filter? We have to click in the data, and advanced filter is on the data tab over here. So clicking advanced filter. Excel already detects the table we are working with, and it is correct. So if it didn't detect or we clicked outside of the table, we will have to go and uh, show the range of the, of the data we are using. Next thing is show the criteria. So for the criteria, I can choose the whole first line but also I can choose only um, cells where I have some conditions. So these are not necessary, but I would say you can continue selecting them if you have them. And what will happen here is all these criteria will be detected as AND conditions. So we want the population above 100 million and uh, median age below 40 and urban population below 50%. So let's click here and apply. What happened is these are the countries that we have above 100 million. 
that have the median age below 40 and uh, the urban population is below 50 percent. We can quickly update this if we want to let's say above 50 and this is the the good thing and easy you have to go and clear your filter but then everything else will be already applied because we didn't change anything uh, the criteria range is the same and we're just applying something new so these are the one that have urban population above uh, 50 percent and have um, their population, total population in year 2020, about 100 million people. Okay, next we have to add more criteria. So if you add additional uh, criteria on the second and the third line, this will be uh, considered as or condition. So if we add something else additionally here, to the data that we already uh, got in our result, we will receive additional data. So let's say we want to see all countries that are below 100,000 uh, population and see what's going on. Click in advanced filter. This time we have to change the criteria to include our second line and apply so right now we got the same countries that we had before above 100 million and then we got additional how many countries 36 35 that have a population below 100,000 so this is how you will apply or conditions using advanced filter Next thing, I want to show you how to use wildcard with an advanced filter. So let's say we want to see all countries that contain uh, stan in their name. So we'll put star and then stan for the country, similar like Pakistan, Afghanistan. Let's see how many countries have this in their name. And then let's say we want only those countries that have a population, urban population below 50%. In addition to that, we want to see all island countries. So anything that have island in their name. And last thing, we want to see all countries from uh, South America or North America that have more than 10 million people. So we'll put here Star America and I want to say it's you can type it with low case. It does it's not case sensitive so it doesn't matter how you type it and then the population is above 10 million. Two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so now let's see what the result will be. That this is our range. It's the same, but we does we don't want the subtotal to be included. And I'll show you how this subtotal actually works when you have your range done. So uh, now we'll select the criteria. We have three lines, and each of them is considered as or condition. Closing and performing the filter. So now we have all of the countries from North and uh, Latin America and South America that have population above 10 million, right? And then at the same time we have islands, all the islands over here. So anything that have island in the name like Solomon Island, Virgin Islands and so on. And then uh, our last criteria, or actually it was our first, is Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, their population is below 50. And then we have here Afghanistan as well. And Pakistan is the second one. So we have four 
countries that are uh, result of the first uh, condition. Then we have how many islands? 10 islands uh, result of the second condition. And the, and the rest is from uh, North and South America countries with more than 10 million people. Of course, because we have used subtotal formulas here, they are adjusted and they represent the filtered table. So it's only showing uh, the sum of population of the resulted countries and then everything else is the same uh, corresponding for the, for the countries that we have in our table. So for example, all these countries represent 16% of the world share of population. The last thing I want to show you is how to get the results in a different spreadsheet without copying and pasting. So let's go ahead and clear the results. And what we need to do, the first thing is you have to be on a new spreadsheet. So it will always um, start from the active spreadsheet. So we'll come here and click over here and go again to advanced filter and now we have to go to the list range and select it from the previous uh, spreadsheet. So selecting it like that, going to the criteria, we will apply the same criteria we had before. And the last thing is we, we need to select copy to another location and select where the location um, should start. And now when click OK, we get our um, result table in a different spreadsheet, ready to use, ready to analyze and uh, use it for something else. Very useful trick is that you can uh, get the table with only the columns you're interested in. So for example, I want to get only the first three columns and I will have to copy these three columns to the place where I want to see them. And let's do uh, the filtering again. Again, we start from this spreadsheet because we want to be active and we click advance, select the data, from the previous spreadsheet. Then we'll select the criteria. And the last thing is we, we want to show the advanced filter where we want to uh, paste the criteria. So we will have to select uh, the headers we pasted over here. So once we have that, we just get the data we are interested in. So you don't have to get additional uh, data that we already have in the original table. We just get the result, the columns that we are interested in. All right, that's all I have for you today. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hope to see you again with the next video.